The banking industry is not having a good time at all. Schwab right now lays off 5 to 6% of its total workforce. About 2,000 employees, all gone from Charles Schwab. Not to mention Schwab and many other banks are also automating like crazy. So you know how when you call into Schwab, there's like a whole entire team that does customer service that may be replaced pretty soon. At the current moment, Schwab laying off its workforce is pretty troubling because we're seeing other banks doing the same exact thing. Now, the company is also trying to save insane amounts of money by cutting off employees and shutting down offices. Some of their employees are honestly just working online at this point. And a lot of these employees are pretty cool with it. Look at this guy, Schwab, to cut staff and real estate to save $500 million a year. When this first came out, a lot of other companies started copying this. A lot of other companies started cutting staff, especially staff that was specialized in the real estate department. They also shut down offices and forced everyone to go online. Now, a lot of employees were kind of happy with the online situation, and many companies actually pay less for online. Productivity is about the same, and actually everyone's happy. We're also in an era where companies are doing everything they can to save money. Closing offices, facility, branches, and fire employees is gonna be the way to go. Now, Schwab previously said it's projected to achieve at least $500 million of annual cost savings, which is pretty nice. That's a lot of money they could spend on acquisitions, mergers, and other stuff, basically, by expanding the company. And right now, with the economy being so softened and so weakened, like UPS cutting employees and UPS automating and FedEx earnings being complete garbage, we are seeing a lot of these banks doing everything they can to save money. And Schwab also closes, for example, their downtown Minneapolis branch. This is a massive branch, and when they shut this down, that is a lot of rent money that they just saved. And many of the employees at that branch, for example, some get transferred, but a lot of them do get fired. Charles Schwab's former headquarters at 211 Main Street in San Francisco will shrink to just six floors down from 17 stories that it once occupied. Now the lease ends at 2028, but they're also moving out to like Texas as well to save money. Cause having your headquarters in California, you are paying some of the highest taxes in the world. And one of the things with Schwab is they're closing out offices. Like 211 Main Street is literally like a beautiful skyscraper right next to the water, right next to the coast. And even these guys can't stay here anymore. Now, you're also going to be seeing Wells Fargo doing the same exact thing, selling their massive skyscraper in San Francisco for pennies on the dollar. We're seeing J.P. Morgan Chase also shrinking down their offices in certain cities. It's very common right now. Here you go, guys. Banking, finance sector layoffs is hitting New Jersey, including Prudential and J.P. Morgan Chase. And here you go, guys. Data from state filings show that five financial institutions we're gonna be seeing some mass layoffs. And we don't really know why. One of the reasons why is a softening market. Markets have softened so much after two years of high interest rates, we are seeing a lot of these banks collapsing. You got some small regional banks collapsing. You got a lot of banks who invest in commercial real estate collapsing. And of course, at the end of the day, companies right now want to save money. They want to prepare for the storm that's coming that might wash them away. Schwab, JP Morgan, and a bunch of other insurance companies are all laying off workers. They're all shutting down office space and they're gonna be saving billions. And they're gonna use that billions to weather the storm, especially with the softy market and also FedEx earnings being so bad, you clearly see that many consumers are no longer spending money on stuff. Can these banks stop firing off employees? Because there's a lot of new college grads who are struggling to find a decent job. And you could kind of thank the high interest rates for that. Because companies are laying off employees, and I guarantee you Schwab is not hiring anytime soon.